Kids and cadets, welcome back to Tommy time. We were working on this all pro yesterday. So it almost took me an hour to clean the carburetor, the uh, APG 3009 November. So I ran out of memory. I had to um, put the kibosh on it couldn't do much else so I decided to put it all back together finish putting the carb on I know I showed you the disassembly went back the same way I had to mess around a little bit with the uh, choke linkage plugged my solenoid wire back in uh, put the uh, tank on it fit in nicely since I bent out the bar in that beginning of the first video the breather tube is back in place um, what else so I got to put some fuel in it I don't have the um, fuel line hooked up what I want to do is put a little fuel in it I've rinsed it out a couple times I want to do one more little bit of rinse just in case I miss something so I'm going to just take a um, a container down here and let it drip into the container for uh, 30 seconds to a minute turn it off and then put my um, fuel line back on so it's in the off position now let's go ahead and put a little gas in it I have my um, drop light nearby which is in the on position already we'll get this thing going hopefully and then see if it's producing it did in the last uh, initial video when we fired it off it did produce <clears throat> so i put the um, screener back in there it's kind of torn in a couple spots but it's better than nothing so Let's go to work. <clears throat> that should be enough to get it to start. If it does run, I'll run the gas out of the bowl put a little stable in here to keep it fresh till next season. I thought about spray painting that um, fuel cap just because of the rust. Maybe paint it red or blue or, or something to make it a, look a little nicer. Okay, I got worried there for a minute. Nothing happened, but now it's dripping out as it should. Fuel looks clean. I had put some um, diesel fuel in it, shook it around, and then some ATV to get the top of the tank uh, coated so I didn't have any flash rusting. Okay, so I'll put the uh, fuel line back in place. Put it to on. We'll come over here and put the engine switch to on. Do I see any gas leaking? So far, so good. Nothing's dripping down past the uh, fuel solenoid. Um, the choke is pulled out. Out is um, 
start or full choke. Uh, when it's running, push the um, lever in for choke off. Okay, nothing leaking out of the petcock. That's all dry. Boy, we got lucky. No fuel leaks. Bowl is not weeping. Everything is drier than a baby's bottom. A happy baby's bottom. A crying baby may have a wet bottom. Okay, let's let's get busy. <clears throat> For you Georgia Bulldogs fan, I had to sacrifice my Georgia Bulldogs t-shirt established 1785. It finally had its last wash, and so I cut it into four pieces. So we should have a little ceremony. Kind of tease my daughter. She... Uh, graduated from UF, University of Florida in Gainesville. I'd always wear my Gator shirt, one of their rivalries. Okay, enough of that. We got full choke. I'm going to pull on this thing. Wow, I would call that a success due to the fact I yanked it once. It started up on full choke, came over and put the choke off. We had power. It looked like it was powering up to 250 volts or 240 because this is a 120 slash 240. So it was doing what it should. Wow, that's awesome. 120, 240. So we were right in that range, it looked like. <clears throat> 30 bucks in an hour or more rehab time. Still no fuel leaking. So, I call this a success. What do you think? I'm happy with it. I'm going to get some stable and put it in the tank. Or what I'll do, most likely, is um, turn the fuel to off once I put the uh, stable in it. Or maybe run it. I'm going to run it with stable for a minute or two, then put my fuel selected off, let the stabilized fuel that's in the bowl run dry, and then I'll have an empty fuel line, empty bowl, and stable treated gas up here in the tank. I didn't put much in there, maybe half a gallon 
or so. So do not return to the store. Call 188-TOUGH-SHIT if you have any questions or need service. That's what you're going to do. messing with the focus to try to give you that company name. Okay, so this was a short video yesterday. This was nearly an hour. This was uh, short and st sweet. Fueled it. It did what it should. It's not leaking fuel powered my test lamp all is good 6000 watt all pro have a good day today thanks for coming out our hydraulic ram experiment worked i don't know if they dropped this thing or dragged it on a truck there's a dent up here and um, right here it was dented in it made it hard to get the tank off, <clears throat> but I did get the tank off, but we um, straightened out that bar. Have a good day today, tip your waitress and wait staff. Appreciate you coming out to Tommy time. Gave Mr. Chicken a ride. He seems to be happy, as all farm animals generally are. Have a good day today.